votes in the Supreme Court, they will probably have the last word there. The biggest national gathering of conservatives shifts into high gear this morning outside Washington, the Conservative Political Action Conference, known as CPAC, welcoming top Republicans to the podium today. GOP figures once viewed as fringe are ready to address the gathering as members of the White House staff. Tal Copen is leading our digital coverage of CPAC. She joins us from Washington with the latest. Tal, this is a uh, administration packed lineup. Go through it for us. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, that's one of the really remarkable things about CPAC this year. You know, for eight years, you've had the Obama administration as the foil and the target, and it was always a Democratic White House. And now we're going to have a CPAC where the White House itself is coming out in full force. And they have, you know, several uh, marquee slots throughout the day. We're going to hear from Kellyanne Conway, of course, uh, President's counselor. Uh, you know, um, Ted Cruz, who isn't part of the White House, but is certainly a powerful figure in the Republican Party. and, and and looking to work with them. You know, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, very uh, important right after this Title IX decision, the guidance withdrawal we were just talking about. Uh, I think the marquee panel is probably the Reince Priebus Steve Bannon panel, where we're going to see them together trying to uh, send a message of everything is uh, simpatico between them. And then, of course, Vice President Mike Pence, who is certain to be a CPAC darling, has been beloved by the conservatives uh, over the years and was a great addition to the Trump ticket in that regard. So, you know, we're expecting to see, you know, the usual sort of firebrand rhetoric, but it'll be really interesting to watch how sure. that firebrand rhetoric actually comes from these sort of mainstream governing leaders.